the real impact of Brown is that it shattered an entire prism of assumptions, beliefs, institutional structures in American society. It really changed the way that people looked at what was the appropriate standard for how we operate as human beings. What's our moral basis? What's our legal basis? And what's our obligation to each other? I think what's very fascinating about the decision, it's only four pages long. And in those four pages, the justices convey a couple of very critical concepts. One, of course, is that they strike down the notion of separate but equal. But more important, before they get there, they strike down and reject and denounce the doctrines of white superiority and Negro inferiority. Very, very fundamental psychological concepts. Because without those psychological concepts, you could not have had segregation. And you have to get rid of those concepts in order to have any any type of philosophy of integration or embracing diversity in society. I never um, really attended integrated schools until I was basically in the 12th grade. And that was a very ugly experience uh, because when I showed up uh, at the campus, uh, the high school campus, the, they didn't want to register me. And they said I couldn't live in their jurisdiction, meaning that no blacks lived in their jurisdiction. And, um, and they, in fact, made me sit there for an entire day and would not register me. And when I was picked up to go home that evening, I told my guardian what had happened, and she was furious. And she showed the next day, uh, and when they saw her, and she was a white woman, and they freaked. And she said, why won't you admit this child? And they said, oh, well, we, it was just all a misunderstanding. We, uh, we, 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 we. She said, yeah, we, we, we. We said, I know what's going on here. She said, I'm not going to have it. Uh, my mom always would say, well, you know, the, the, the law allows us to do these things. The law protects us from, you know, discrimination. The law says that we have these rights, and our rights are, you know, these things. Uh, but it was only in college that I really started understanding the history of Brown versus Ford, the history of the legal fight. I mean, Brown itself is a story of resistance. Prince Edward County closed their school system for years in protest of the, uh, rather than integrate. But people don't know that part of the story of Brown, that our nation actually did go through a internal, you know, birthing pain. We were in labor for many, many years, and we had an internal struggle and an internal fight over what was the moral and what was the real direction of our country. We forget that Brown versus Board had impact way beyond the shores of the United States, that indeed it was utilized by groups of minorities throughout the world to fight official segregation. So Brown has not just been a historical doctrine, it's not just been applicable to U.S. law, but it's had an international impact that has been widespread and it has changed the way the world looks.